Welcome back to African Air Ordnance. Just got another delivery in from pelicans.com. This time it's for the awesome Umarex 50 cal hammer. So filming it like this, obviously because the box is so big. So let me just open it up for you guys. You can see what's in the box. Alright. So this is a pretty big rifle. Not gonna lie. I think the best thing to do is to take it out of the box and see everything that comes with the rifle. And uh, stay tuned for that. Alright guys, now I've got it out of the box. Let's go through what came in the box. We've got the rifle obviously. We've got the manual, the owner's manual, which I definitely would recommend re re giving a read, especially for this rifle. It comes with six 350 grain slugs, just like that, hollow points. Two two-shot magazines and a few warning labels right there. Uh, this is a 4500 PSI rifle. That the rifle will put out 700 foot-pounds. Obviously, that would be related to the weight of slug you put it, you shoot at. So the heavier the slug, the more foot-pounds. It's a 24-inch carbon fiber cylinder that you fill to 4500 PSI. In Right over here is the regulator that regulates each shot down to 3,000 PSI. You get three full powered shots out of a fill with a fourth shot that is, is around about 90% full power. The rifle comes with a Picatinny rail right over here. Also with slots in the bottom so if you feel like mounting a, a bipod or a tripod you have a spot to mount it right over there. A new Wolfer barrel that is 29 and a half inches long with a 1 in 24 twist. So it's pretty nice for nice big bullets. It is shrouded and in this section over here uh, if you remove the shroud there is a small baffle section. Um, thinking of the power of this gun I doubt that really does much to dampen the sound of this rifle. Next I'm going to turn it over and show you guys uh, you cock the rifle, the cocking mechanism. Now that we have the rifle turned over, we can see the little pressure gauge. Um, it's got a bit of air in there. Uh, the rifle is uh, 4500 PSI full. You've got your safety, safe, fire. There is a, another safety right here that if you, you have to unscrew it first before it will allow you to cock the rifle. So to cock this rifle, you simply just click it back and I'm not going to cock it all the way back, but you do, you cock it all the way back to the back there and then you just manually push it forward all the way. The magazine will, it will, will on the first shot, won't do, it, won't do anything because you, you're going to, obviously you're going to cock the rifle first, you're going to put the magazine in and push it forward and you're ready for your first shot. And then when you're ready to, you fire your first shot, you want to do a quick follow up, you just cock it back, the magazine will automatically slide across and you're ready to fire again. Overall, a very nice package. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do some close-ups of how you load the magazine uh, into the rifle and show you how it indexes. All right, just to show you guys how you load the mag, there's a little picture of a bullet, a little arrow it shows you that the, you need to load them from that part of the magazine, right? And once you've got them loaded with two rounds, you're just gonna slot it in like that. And all you're going to do is you're going to press the thumb in and press all the way down. Turn the rifle over. The next thing you do is you're going to cock it like that and you're now ready to fire the gun. What will happen next is you want to fire a second shot. So what you're going to do is just like that and you can see the magazine popped across just like that. And then again you would close the bolt, fire the gun. Now you want to change mag, so you're going to cock it again, and you're going to pull this little leave on the side, you just pull it forward, and it allows you to take your mag out, and you put it in your next magazine. So, it's a close-up of the safety, so you've got a safe fire, or a safe, there's a second safety over here as well. Uh, if you screw it all the way in, it locks the bolt up. If you screw that all the way in, it locks the bolt up. So, 
we don't want to use it like right now, so we just leave it where it is. So when the gun arrives, it comes with that screwed in, and it feels like you can't pop the bolt back just like that. So you just unscrew it, and then you can cock it back. All right. Also, if you do have a round in the chamber, let's put this back again. Take a mag. All right, just like that. Feed it in. Okay. Now what you can do is you want to decock the rifle, and you can only decock the rifle if there's a mag in in the rifle. So we're going to put it onto fire. Okay. And then we're just going to. So now you, the rifle's decocked, and nothing can happen. Even though there is a round in there, or you, if you no, we ready to shoot. Suddenly you saw your big game. You just cock it back, and the rifle will be ready to shoot. Just cock it back like that. And as you can see, the mag. But your light click was the mag popping. Through like that, just take the mag out. Right. So that's how you load and install the mag on the rifle, ready to shoot. Alright, guys, must say, really like the look of this rifle. I think the next best thing to do is put a scope on it and head to the range. Um, this range is a bit further away than our normal range, so we're going to take a bit of a road trip only because the gun is so, only because the rifle is so loud. I'm on the run, I've got no alibi for what I've done Took what you treasure and I'm never gonna give it up I let these empty streets and hide within the shadows You think I'm low but you don't know, no, no, how low I'll go I've been hunting for it Alright guys, we're back at the range with the hammer, 50 kill. Um, I'm gonna try and feed it from slugs, I'm cast slugs with try some Umarek slugs that came with the rifle We'll see how those results go I'm trying to get some chronograph numbers, but I'm not promising. Only because it, since it's such a massive muzzle blast that uh, it knocks the chronographs all over the place. So let's get shooting. first test results with the hammer. I must say, recoil is pretty hectic for the rifle. Yeah, I'm even really used to shooting big boys and the hammer definitely, <laughs> definitely got some serious hammer recoil. Um, other than that, I found the rifle is, uh, to be honest, uses a lot of air. Um, 
and, and that's just something it, it, definitely I was shooting tethered just because it was such a waste of air to bleed off so all the shots were shot tethered uh, so you know we uh, one problem I found was that the chronograph stopped working uh, I don't know if it's because of the muzzle blast what uh, gave it a bit of a shock wave hit it but um, as you can see guys uh, yeah, that's the first outing with the hammer uh, I do like a rifle uh, the trigger is once you get used to the trigger very long first stage so something just to be wary of uh, recall is pretty hectic with a rifle it's definitely not a rifle that you can sit and shoot all day with um, I think if you're shooting off a bag I think your shoulder is going to hurt a little bit I always laugh when people say that PCB air rifles is no recall. Trust me, it is recall. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.